But if someone's toxic and ruining your life and ruining your heart and breaking it, they don't deserve you. If they exploit your DMs, if they just hurt you in any way possible, verbally abusive, they don't deserve you. Hands down, why do you follow them? If, look, trust me, I love, when you love someone I have before and they just, you know, you know, they're a bitch and you don't want to let go of them, let go because things feel much better and I can tell this from experience that's how my life believe me on that it feels like you're walking on clouds after don't do that wife shit for a douche thank you it's all your decision and the only per um, the only way you can actually get that person back in your life is if they actually feel sincerely sorry and genuinely sorry for the shit they put you through and you know you can't just say it's fine you can't just say you just can't worry about it anymore. It's... That's BS. You can't let go when someone hurts you. You can't just forget about that. Because once someone hurts you, you never forget that situation. It's just how humans work. It's normal for us to show emotion. And don't feel bad to show emotion or think that's weak. And I'm always here if anyone wants to talk, which you don't have to. Because I know a lot of people like to keep things private. But I'm always here for everyone. And yeah, don't be a... Oh my god, fuck. Um, <laughs> don't be one. <laughs> to show your emotion thank you if someone has the audacity to hurt them good for them because they're actually wasting time in their day when they could be doing other things like a hobby or playing video games with the homies or talking to someone they actually put interest in and maybe finding new hobbies or exploring new places fuck them why do they have the audacity to do that like what's so special Oh my god, what's so special about doing that? I don't know why my accent is British, but trust me, why do the fuck do they want to do that? Not one of those people who puts on their, like, over their bed or something, live love, live love or whatever, live love smile or whatever the fuck it is, because that's BS. You know, it's gonna be ups and downs, life is a roller coaster. There's positives and negatives, so you gotta accept that. It can't just be all positive, it can't just be all negative, and this is coming from a very negative person, based on life story, but yeah, but it's okay. You know, it's okay to feel sad, it's okay to feel happy. Feel whatever you want to feel, as long as you don't do anything stupid like smoking weed to get over your problems, or doing drugs, or harming yourself. Like, please don't do that. That upsets me. That really upsets me. Please don't do that. But you cannot say it's okay when you're upset and someone hurts you. You can't say it's okay. You can't put on that fake smile. I know a lot of people do that because they don't want to bother anyone or think it's a burden or upset anyone or think they want it or think or make people think they want attention then people become toxic and shit like that it's upsetting how the world is but you aren't weak you're strong you're you're showing your emotion that like we all should be doing we're humans and we need to let it out bottling is unhealthy trust me it is when your emotion is not attention seeking i just want to put that out there you're gonna think people are gonna leave you for showing your emotion or talking to someone about it. I'm never gonna leave you if you tell me about your emotions because I understand. I actually listen to people. A lot of people don't listen these days and it's really upsetting. A lot of people would think that being toxic will help them boost their self-esteem and they'll come off cool. It's terrible. I know, it's terrible. There's so many problems in the world today. There's so many disrespectful things. Like people are... Ah, oh, sorry. That people are disrespecting Muslims. People are disrespecting people who are gay. Like, come on, we're all different. We're all human. If the world was all the same, it would be such a fucking boring place. We all need to be friendly with each other. We can't hate each other for any backgrounds. Come on. Like, I know I sound like one of those people from in the guidance counselor from school, but like, I'm not one of those stupid people. It's being genuine here that we need to start being better people. Like, come on. I know me saying. But maybe a small bit of activism will get this out here and help people actually listen to me. Like, I'm putting this on my close friend's story because I don't want everyone, like, all my followers to see this. I just feel like my close friends will mostly understand where I'm coming from. Like, if you're seeing this here my on my private story, I hope you really do understand where I'm coming from. And, yeah, don't, don't put yourself down. You're all beautiful and, you know... Love your body. Don't work out just to get a better appearance. Don't do that. There's a lot of shit these days over nice tits, nice dick, nice ass, and you're thick. Don't listen to that. Exercise because you want to be healthy. Thank you. I, I just don't see love as real these days, and we need to start bringing actual real love. Not wanting someone's ass or something. Like, come on. Bullshit. If you really like someone, please compliment their, um... 
please compliment their personality. Say that they're charming or funny. Don't just go straight for you're cute, you're hot. Like, please compliment their personality too. Make a balance. And if you're going to compliment their appearance, do not say, um, sexy butt or something like that. You know, you, you should know your boundaries too. Like, you, you have friends. If you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you have friends too. You have video games, but you also have someone you love. You have TikTok or something, but you also have a boyfriend you love or a girlfriend. Please make sort out your priorities. Otherwise, you need to you need to hang out with your, both your girlfriend, your friends, and your video games. Just sort out your priorities, man. I'm just giving you, I'm just giving everyone tips here, not just boys or girls. I'm giving everyone tips. So let's like that. That is a compliment, but that's just like just you know girls don't like to be, be approached as hey shoddy and stuff like that i don't think i've ever met a girl who likes that like there's probably girls out there who do but i've never met someone who actually likes that i have none of my friends that are girls who like to be approached like that believe me none of my friends uh, this is coming from a girl i don't like to be approached like that either if you're going to talk to me don't just talk to me because of my appearance don't just talk to me because you want to get in my pants don't do that no one likes that. Girls don't. Even if it seems like all of us do, we don't. And if you're going to say that, maybe you should sort out your priorities video games and your girlfriend. Thank you. Peace out. Listen to me. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. No one is. Everyone has mental health issues. Everyone's going to face a problem in their life. You're not perfect. You can't be perfect. It's impossible. Perfect's just a word. I don't know who invented it. It's just a word. Listen to me. Don't compare yourself to other people. You should really love yourself. Like... And if you have parents who pressure you to do the best you can, do the best you can. But don't to do it to the point where you, people are just expecting things of you that you don't even, that you, that you just, you're a person, you're human. You can do so much. And if everyone had the same thing, there would be no value in life. Everyone would be the same, it would just be a boring world. And trust me, it would be, it would be. If you think about it deeply in depth if you think about it in the shower like sh shower thoughts it would be a boring world trust me it would be and this isn't directed at anyone so don't think that i'm just putting this out there that i just want you to know that even if i'm getting a little emotional but i just want you to know that you guys are all loved by me and i know i may not be as close with some as you guys some of you as i am with others but i want you guys to know that i deeply love you all and i hope you guys really have a safe quarantine wash your hands six stay six feet apart and don't go nuts have a good mindset about everything don't like don't go out and say hey guys i'm gonna spit on someone's food don't go out and buy toilet paper and go crazy you're just gonna make things a lot worse for everyone else and you're gonna hurt people and you know just have a good mindset and do all the precautions the things tell you and you know let's focus on the recovery rates too from the coronavirus, we can't just focus on deaths all the time. We just, you know, do what you can do. Do your best. If you're not putting out a further, that's concerning. But don't let your parents. I didn't mean you're perfect. I just meant you're amazing the way you are. And I don't want to be called perfect because, like, I'm not. No one is. You can't just be arrogant and full of yourselves, thinking that you're the best. There's need. There needs to be a balance in life. And that's all I'm just going to say. I'm sorry, this is so much. And if you actually listen to this, I appreciate you. I don't want anyone sliding through this, like, not caring. Like, please listen to this. If you did, thank you. Thank you so much. That shows you actually care about what I'm saying. And you would you have some thoughts about what I'm saying. And please reply to my story something or something like that. Thank you. And this is also to the girls. You know, short guys aren't that bad. Like, listen to me. Come on, give them a chance, you know, and don't judge a guy because he has, like, acne or something or any of that, and don't judge a guy for his dick, like, why? Because, you know, both genders have flaws, it's not just the girls, it's not just the boys, we need to sort our priorities here and be better people, not, like, judgmental. There's gonna still, con judgmentalism is gonna continue, but you gotta see inside the heart, guys. Trust me on this. Don't just assume someone has an amazing personality because they have good looks. Like, come on.
everyone's beautiful in their own ways, except people like, uh, Hitler. I'm disappointed with society, and I had been for a long time. Number one, girls should not be called sluts or hoes or thoughts for wearing makeup at a young age. But you see other girls wearing that, why are you calling someone I know a thought? And second of all, um, <sighs> wearing makeup, you don't have to wear makeup to look beautiful, you're just, you're beautiful the way you are, and believe me. Like, I don't wear makeup, and I don't, I think I still look bad even with, even with it or without it. You look beautiful the way you are. You aren't fat or ugly or any of that. You're beautiful. And trust me, I know life is hard, but you're not a ho wearing makeup if you do. So, yeah. I am sorry for the spam, but I am fucking done. Why is society like this these days? Why? Why can't it just be better like i'm not asking you to be perfect perfect does not exist but th that doesn't mean you have to call people sluts or hoes for wearing makeup like shut the fuck up no one wants to hear what you have to say if you have the audacity to tell that to my friend say it to me first huh fucking say it to me first you little bitch see what see how I respond, you little fucker. You want you want a punch in the face? I'm sorry, but I'm pissed off and I'm gonna get mad. I don't know, Desi, to say that any of my friends. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm sorry, but I'm so done with everything going on. Like, I'm sorry this is a lot coming out for me, like, today. But it had to come off from someone. If no one has, other, if no other people have the fucking balls to do what I'm doing. I, I'm sorry if that comes off really rude, but... Fuck you if you're being rude to my friends. Fuck you if you're touching anyone like that. Wearing makeup does not make you a hoe. Some people just wear it because it's fun to wear. You just don't cover up your insecurities if you want to use makeup. I mean, yeah, people use it to cover blemishes or flaws, but in my opinion, everyone's beautiful except for people like Hitler, as I said earlier. Don't wear makeup just to hide your insecurities. Everyone's beautiful the way they are. I'm, I, like I said before, I don't wear makeup. Hmm. If your family or your friends or society is telling you to be someone who you're not, do not do what they say. Be who you are. Do not listen to them. They are fucking sluts. They are sluts themselves. You know what a slut is? I think a slut is a dirty fucking person. A person with a dirty fucking personality. Fuck those people. Fuck those people. I don't want to fucking see their face in this world. Fuck them. I don't want to fucking get to know them. Fuck them. They can go fucking piss themselves in a trash can. I mean, I would say worse things. If I'm saying worse things in my head, but I'm not going to say them on here because I'm being genuine right now and serious. Oh, well, I would be serious either way, but uh, I don't even know. I'm just so fucking mad and my brain's clouded, but fuck you. Not fuck you, but like fuck the people who are being this bitchy. How could you say to one of my friends that she's a thought for wearing makeup? Like, fuck you. What the fuck? I'm sorry, but what the fuck? One more thing so my neighbors don't hear this. To the person who was a bitch to my friend, 